you want to download the iGeekCam app. You can scan the QR code in the quick start guide or just search the app and then we're going to follow through these steps. First I'm going to click on sign up, add my email address, create a nickname and a password. Then you're going to click on add device and click on battery camera. Then we're going to power on the camera by holding down the power button. I've also added in the power cable to charge up the camera. Then press next. Reset the camera by holding for five seconds. Now put in your Wi-Fi router and your password and press next. Now you go press next and hold the QR code five to eight inches away from the camera. You'll hear a camera make a sound. Then press next. The camera will then show a blue light and the connection is successful. Press next again. This will show you your Wi-Fi strength and show you an image of what the camera can see. Press next again. Here's a few install tips. You can select where you want it. Now you're going to press play. This is the home page where you can select to view the camera. Now you can view the camera and change some of the settings. You have icons underneath the image. On the left you have the screenshot, intercom, testing, testing, one, two, three. On the right you can record, which will save to your album and the photo gallery on your phone. Press the same icon to stop. Bottom left you have the motion detection. When you turn this on you can adjust the settings. So you have linked lighting, linked buzzer, different alarm working mode, create alarm plan and alarm area. You can adjust the detection sensitivity or turn it off. At the bottom in the middle we can turn the light on which we can also adjust the brightness. Bottom right we have the siren. You can go across to page two, press the light settings here you have more light adjustments. Adjust brightness will adjust the light brightness from the floodlights. So you can shine a bright light on unwanted visitors. Album will save your videos and photos that you've tapped to record yourself. You can click on this to view and also share if needed, which will also save to my phone. If you press the settings icon in the top right corner, here you'll be able to see all of your settings to make more adjustments. You can also adjust the sound. You can also access your alarm management, which a good feature is the alarm area, allowing you to select areas in the image that you want the camera to detect rather than the whole image. Here you mark the areas in orange and you have the option to also erase some of the areas if needed. If you click on recording management, you see your micro SD card capacity. And if you click on history, you can see the footage that's saved to the micro SD card that's been triggered by the motion detection. With the plus symbol on the right you can adjust allowing you to zoom in or out on the recorded footage highlighted in blue. You also have the option to save to the cloud which you have seven days free. If you click on the messages button on the bottom, click the camera, here you'll see all your saved recordings from the motion detection which you can click on and view back. If you turn your phone sideways it will fill up the whole screen and at the bottom of the tabs you'll see the rest of your options. At the bottom right of the image you have the option to adjust from SD to full HD now I'll show you the difference in picture quality, but the SD option may play back the footage smoother if you don't have a great Wi-Fi signal, but the option's there for both 